in example 2 we have the question e to the power 5x and we know that we write the generalized uh, kind of annihilator operator and that is d minus alpha to the power n y equals to 0. So um, n is basically related to it's all concerned about the highest power of x and whatever the highest power of x you have to add 1 to it and that makes it n. So differential operator remember that differential operator is always one power higher than the uh, highest power of x so here uh, we have to find out we have to find the annihilator operator of this e to the power alpha x alpha here is 5 so we can definitely see alpha is 5 now what about the n n can be derived with the fact that e to the power 5x has the multiplying term 1 so we can also write it as x to the power 0 e to the power 5x so x has the highest power here 0 right so uh, that means we have to add 0 or you have you have to add 1 to the 0 so from that we can um, judge that n here is 1 so its annihilator operator is d minus alpha is 5 to the power 1 and y is here the function y equals to e to the power 5x so that means it is e to the power 5x equals to 0 so this is the annihilator operator for the function y equals to e to the power 5x now we come to the second example and that b part is uh, 4 into e to the power 2x minus 6 into x e to the power 2x. So remember, always remember you have only concerns with the higher um, order of that x. So here x has the highest power 1 and if we add 1 to, to 1 is 1 plus 1 is 2. So n we can say that n here is 2 and um, also alpha we can judge here that is 2 so its differential equation becomes d minus 2 to the power n 2 into y y is this function so 4 e to the power 2x minus 6 x e to the power 2x equals to 0 so this is the annihilator operator of this function so we have um, now we have uh, learned about the polynomial types of differential or annihilator of what would be the annihilator operator of the polynomial functions and also what will be the annihilator operators of the type of exponential functions and along with the x into exponential functions um, now we have to think about that what will be the annihilator operator uh, of the functions that contains trigonometric uh, functions like cos of x sine of x or x into cos of x x into sine of x or if we multiply along with the exponential functions like x e to the power alpha x cos beta x and x e to the power alpha x sine beta x so what will be the definite formula for that or what will be the definite annihilator operator for these type now, of functions. If you have these type of functions e to the power alpha x cos beta x x e to the power alpha x cos beta x to so on up to x uh, to the power n minus 1 e to the power alpha x cos beta x or if you have functions that contain sine of x that means e to the power alpha x sine beta x x e to the power alpha x sine beta x up to so on x to the power n minus 1 x is always one power less uh, than the annihilator operator e to the power alpha x sine beta x so if you have these type of functions there is only one annihilator operator and the equation for the annihilator operator here is d square minus 2 alpha d plus alpha square plus beta square 
to the power n. So this is the annihilator operator for each type of these functions. If you have any functions among these all functions, the annihilator operator is this. So uh, we will do the examples for these type of functions. So first example is, that is example number 3. First example is construct, you have to construct uh, that if alpha is minus 1, beta is given 2 and n is given 1. So you have to construct the function. These type of values in the equation and the equation here is d square minus 2 alpha d plus alpha square plus beta square um, to the power n. So I replace these all values in this formula in this uh, equation or formula d square minus 2 into minus 1 into d plus alpha square is minus 1 square plus 2 square to the power 1 d square plus 2 into d and 1 square plus 2 square minus 1 square has uh, value 1 so 1 square plus 2 square is 5 so this is the equation and to the power 1 and also I can uh, make the it can construct two types of functions one type is e to the power because n here is 1 that means there will be no x x to the power 0 so that makes it um, there is no x and e to the power alpha x means e to the power minus x alpha minus 1 into cos of beta x beta here is 2 so 2x and the other solution is e to the power minus x sine 2x it means that it is y1 and it is y2 and these both are linearly independent functions and from this equation we can construct auxiliary equation and auxiliary equation can be m square plus 2m plus 5 equals to 0 so what makes it 5 you can use any technique for that okay now i am going to verify the true values of alpha and beta with the help of this annihilator operator and auxiliary equation first i will make its auxiliary equation that is m square plus 2 m plus 5 and m uh, i'm using this uh, quadratic formula for that and here is b is minus 2 plus minus 4 2 square is 4 minus 4 into a is 1 and c is 5 so that makes it minus 2 plus minus under root 4 minus 20 divided by 2 that 4 minus 20 is minus under root 16 and 16 has the under root 4 so minus 1 ha is basically iota so that makes it minus 2 plus minus 4 iota by 2 okay uh, one by one i divide the two uh, factor and so that makes it minus 1 plus minus 2 iota that makes it uh, two roots that falls into the case 3 that is minus 2 iota from that i can uh, extract the values of alpha and that is minus 1 and beta is so that pr makes that proves that our given uh, formula this formula is a true formula and it verifies the values of alpha beta and example, n number four and this example is when alpha is zero and beta is one and n is two what will be the um, formula for that so d square minus 2 alpha d plus alpha square beta square to the power n so d square minus 2 into 0 into 0 into d plus 0 square plus 1 square to the power 2 that makes it d square plus 1 so that case is a very simple case and um, that means d square plus 1 into d square plus 1 so it arises that if you have no alpha it means you have no exponential term e to the power alpha x and n means that you have x only x 2 minus 1 is x to the power 1 so that constructs uh, two 
roots that means x cos and beta is 1 cos of x and x sine of so that is all about annihilator and if you have finite sum of two different annihilator like two different functions so what will be its annihilator operator like example number 5 is that if you have two different types of functions like 7 minus x plus uh, 6 sine of 3x so uh, it falls into the different two parts one is a linear and uh, polynomial function and other is the sine trigonometric function so for first different uh, inhalator operator is x to the power 1 means one order greater so d square of 7 minus x equals to 0 and second has um, there is no alpha uh, so there is only beta so d square i am skipping the alpha terms uh, plus 9 d square plus 9 3 square basically d square plus 3 square and uh, there is no term yes there is no term so d square plus 9 into sine of 3x equals to 0 so there are different operators and now we can combine this operator that d square d square plus 9 annihilates the equation is y so th this is the annihilator operator of this equation this function okay one more is find the any differential operator that annihilates e to the power minus 3x plus x e to the power um, x now uh, you can see that this is exponential these are two both are exponential functions but of different alphas so that means it definitely has different alpha or different inhalator operators so for first inhalator operator is d minus alpha to the power n so that is for exponential one so d minus minus 3 and x to the power 0 means 1 and for that annihilator operator x to the power 1 so n must be 2 and here n is 1 and here n must be 2 x to the power 1 so 1 order greater than that and e to the power uh, alpha here is 1 here and that makes it d plus 3 so complete annihilator operator of this y function is I will multiply these annihilator operators and that is d plus 3 d minus 1 square of y equals to 0 so this is the annihilator operator now um, what will be the benefit of this all annihilator approach uh, I will tell you the very very easy method to find the particular solution instead of using the undetermined coefficient substitution the long process donkey work and all that I will tell you a very quick basic method